and here we go doesn't look like there's any Greek in it today We're starting with uh, seven the effect yeah concerning the official duties you might want to say the duties erga preposition towards the fathers of children and concerning the matter from the f philosophical books from the libris from the books of philosophers in which questions are scriptum are written and whether all the orders the uses these things ordered um, of a father or by a father if they should be obsequiumed if they should be obeyed solitomest is accustomed to be queried in uh, desertations, you might want to say in um, things written or discussed in philosophical circles or something, uh, whether always and in everything, the orders of a father parendum sit, whether they should be obeyed. Over this ray, over this matter, the Greeks and Nostri, our philosophers, would be Latin philosophers, who have scripts oriented uh, concerning these duties, uh, there are three sententias, three opinions or something, which can be looked at and considered. And considered. They hand these over uh, to be judged. Died a unicorn, that's a word for judgment, and it looks like an adverb, very finely or subtly. Three, one of them, est, is. Everything which the father imperates, orders, should be parendum, should be obeyed. Another, the second is, in certain things they should be obeyed, and in quibus dam, certain other things, they should not be obsequiendum, they should not be obeyed. The third uh, sententia is, it's not necessary to obsequi the father, to uh, obey the, to uh, obey and to obey, to o obey words. So to follow the father and obey him or something, or to... Uh, literally, obsequy means to be obsequious, so it's a bit um, in second uh, place to the father or something like that. Six. Uh, this sentiment, the first first opinion. Uh, since um, at first aspect, at first glance, uh, this seems too much infamous. This is uh, to not uh, not to obey. It's uh, as infamy regarding it uh, bad. So over this prior. Um, the things we will speak about, we will speak on this thing first. So it's so the third thing will be addressed first. In quant, they say either rightly or preparum or bad, right or wrongly, the father orders. So if he orders recte, it's not because he's ordering that it should be obeyed, but since this is right to be done, yus. So not obeying him because he's your father, you're obeying him because it's the right thing to do. So faki and it should be done. If it's wrong, ne quaque, by no means, skillicit obviously, should it be faki and should be done, which ought not to be done. So if he's speaking wrong, it ought not to be done morally, so you, obviously you shouldn't do it by any means. Eight, then uh, they thus conclude that never then, or therefore, should you parendum a father. You shouldn't obey a father in the things which he orders if they are in this state, if they are wrong. Nine, set. But neither <coughs> should this istem sententi, should this opinion, should be accepted as being approved. Probare means to test it and approve of something. Uh, since this is argutolia, this is a shining wit sort of thing it's um, a bit of eloquence maybe just as uh, soon uh, we shall demonstrate or show this is frivolous and empty uh, however neither should uh, what I first said in, in what I said in the first place should we that I said that everything should be obeyed um, it was the first thing he said uh, should all these things be true and approvable should all of these things be so that whatever a father orders it is obeyed so it looks like we're stuck with the second ground which is sometimes this sometimes that 11 for what if predation of your fatherland so what if it is a betrayal of your fatherland or if um, the killing of your mother or if certain other things 
ye orders which are terp and impia, impious and foul. Okay, so therefore the middle ground, the middle sententia, is the optima, is the best and the most safest, it seems, uh, when certain things should be parendum, should be obeyed, and certain things should not be obsequiendum, should not be obeyed. 13. But this, nevertheless, which ought not to be obeyed, should be lenitha, gently and with rever reverence, vericundia, and without detestation, uh, without too much, nimia is too much, and without any approbation, which is um, words which might be harsh, there's a curb of meaning harsh, or, and um, should be declined gradually. Um, decline and uh, so you're declining to do it but uh, you're not doing it with their station and reprehension etc and it should be reliquendarist it should be left uh, rather than quams then uh, so they say respuended uh, uh, I guess you get spittled from that or something so it should be left but it shouldn't be um, you shouldn't be chewing him out when you don't do it Vero, but illa conclusion, this conclusion, which uh, we've been colligated in, we've been bound in, or whatever, or inferred, uh, just as is said, supra, above, um, that should be obeyed nothing to a father. This is imperfect. So it's imperfect that you should never obey your father. And this can be refuted and dissolved or washed away or purged. Uh, thus it's able, in this way, it's able to be refuted and uh, washed up. So well, these are passive infinitives. Uh, no, not that one. Let's be this one. I set up. Diluo. Um, you get dilute from it, the drench. But yeah, to uh, purge and clear your bowels, uh, to wash away and dissolve and carry away. So it's, that's what's inferred there. Okay, uh, where were we? So 15. Everything which in rebus of humans in the matters of humans which they do as the doctored people or the learned people censorat they've decided is either honest or sunt or terpia so they're either honest or foul the things that we do there's no sitting on a fence and scroll we're going down to there 16 quay the things which v rectus sua okay so um has the right sort of force uh are either honest such as as to cultivate uh, some uh, trustworthiness or to be right in the faith, uh, to defend the fatherland, or as to uh, deligere, which means to love your emicoses, your friends. These ought to be done, see whether or not your father imperates it or if he non imperates it. 17. But which these things. Uh, contrary to these and uh, foul, omnina, altogether, these things are stained or foul. And ne quidem, and not even if he orders it, should we do them. Okay, what have we got? We've got some uh, Greek words after all. So, but which things in are in the middle and are by the Greeks, uh, then they call... Me, so I just looked at this, I've forgotten it. Uh, it's called neutral, okay. And this one here is a palatord called adiaphora, that means indifferent, okay. So that if you go into the militia, if you get into the army, or if you cultivate the fields out in the countryside, or if you seek social honors or the rungs of society, you defend cases in the law courts and forums, if you duke array in Uxor, you marry a wife, then. As you are ordered, uh, you profiski, you set out. And as you are accustomed, as you are summoned, you venere, you come. Since uh, these things, and similar to these things, are uh, in themselves per se, uh, they are n neither honest nor foul, but just as they are aguntored by us, just as they are carried out by us, that's what they are. Um, thus, themselves these actions are either to be approved of or reprehended okay nearly done propteria sometimes you see it with propteria quad uh, for this reason into all of these types of rerums all of these types of matters 
uh, censor it. They've decided that parandum essay, that they should be obeyed to the father by all the Gannon robustas, those people he's generated. So um, the offspring should obey the father. Uh, as if, um, as see for if, if he orders someone to marry a wife, they should obey. Or if they are to speak the case for a defendant. So I guess anyone can be a lawyer in these days, but that's it.